Hello, this is Nancy, and you're at Nan's Next Knots. Uh, today I wanted to get on here and show you a bit of happy mail that I've had for a while and should have already filmed this. But we all know how life happens, and I'm here today to show you the bits of happy mail I've received. So first I want to show you um, Petra from Petra's Happy Place was doing her birthdays for September birthday month. Every day she did a video and she did have some giveaways in uh, the first part of September. I want to say her video on the 5th, 6th, 7th, somewhere in there, I won one of her giveaways. So I wanted to show you what I have received. It was just a little giveaway. Um, so I got, in my package, I got a note from her, and she said she's thrilled, and in that video, you could just tell she was thrilled that somebody that, you know, she knew won. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Little alpacas, I think they are. I'm not sure if they're alpacas or llamas, but llamas have longer necks, so those look like alpacas to me. And... There is this nice little case, could be crochet hooks to put in it, and there is, um, so yeah, a nice little case, cool green, greenish color, and then there is a pair of, these are so cute, little socklets, anklets of a giraffe either blowing a bubble or bloom probably blowing a bubble isn't that cute so cute and then there are stickers they're butterfly stickers ooh those aren't showing up real well they might be showing up better than I think they are so that was my little giveaway that I won from Petra thank you Petra and also, I received uh, a postcard about Florida Facts, and this is from Barbara, who lives on a sailboat in Florida. And during the pandemic, she, uh, her boat, I think, got quarantined, and she was separated from her boat for a while. And now it's been quite a while since she's been reunited with her boat. But... Anyway, uh, she says she's staying safe aboard her boat and that she's catching up with YouTube videos. And uh, she's watched my videos and she says she loves my bags. Thank you, Barbara. Okay, then I got a box. And yes, I did open it. And this is from Evelyn who is in Hot Springs, Arizona. And we probably all know Evelyn. Uh, not going to say her last name, but we all know who she is. And there's a sweet card from her. And let me read this to you. It's uh, an English, I mean an Irish blessing. May your days be many and your troubles be few. May all God's blessings descend upon you. May peace be within you. May your heart be strong. May you find what you're seeking wherever you roam. It says it's an Irish blessing. And a little hand note here where she's asked me if I please accept this yarn and little goodies in appreciation for all I do for the crochet community. Your kind giving spirit is an inspiration. So, let me show you what came in the box. She also said in there that if it was something that um, I could do whatever with it, and, you know, maybe some items I didn't want or something, I could have a giveaway. But there's a little baggie here. There's a paper clip with a llama on it. It says, yarn is my spirit animal. It's a little paper clip. Oh, that's kind of fun. <laughs> and then there's a 
beautiful little notebook with a pen. Oops. And this has got lined paper inside of it. I love the flowers though. And there's, oops, don't fall on me. There's um, a little zippered notion bag. It has a little saying on it. It says, what sunshine is to flowers, smiles are to humanity. That's cute. I like that saying. Okay, so let's put that back in there. Okay, now the thing about this yarn is, what I really like about it is there's things in here that I wouldn't normally buy for myself and so that I have not tried. So this is kind of really goodies to me and so that I get to sample a little bit of that stuff that's out there that you probably all have experienced that I haven't. Okay, so there is some darn good yarn in here. And I have never tried or had any darn good yarn. And this is quite colorful. And it says it is a roving yarn watercolors. It says it's a number four. I can't quite read. 75 yards, something like that. So that's kind of interesting. And then there's another one from Darn Good Yarns. Um, I don't think I can use them together. They're not the same. And this one is, says it's a bulky five and it's called Pink Flamingo. And it's fancy twist yarn. And it's 50 yards. So that's going to be a treat because I've not tried darn good yarn. All right. Then there is some red heart scrubby. And I, believe it or not, I have not tried this either. And this is kind of showing really blue. Sorry about that. The dog thinks there's somebody out there. Anyway, it's showing really blue, but it's a purple. And you know me, I like purple. So uh, that'll be interesting. So now I can try it. So this is really fun. And the fact that I could try these things, I won't have to go out and buy it. Because, you know, when you're at the store, you look at it and think, oh, that's interesting. I could use that. But nah, you know, because you've never tried it before. And so all her, the rest of the stuff came vacuum packed and I've never had anything vacuum packed either. So this is a lot of firsts for me. So this is Burnett Satin. Now the labels on all this are going to be really squished up because uh, it, you know, was in the bag. And this is called Sable and it's a number four. It does say it's 100% acrylic, and it's approximately 200 yards. It is very soft. So yet again, something I've never tried that I probably wouldn't buy for myself, but now I can try it. Thank you again, Evelyn. Okay, what do we got next? We have... A skein of homespun, which some of you guys call hell spun. And believe it or not, I've never tried this either. Um, this, does have a color on it? It's called Painted Desert. Oh, I've seen lots of people get, say that color before. So it is 185 yards. 98% acrylic and 2% other fiber. So there's another thing I've never tried, and I there's one stain, so that's just enough to try. They're not quite my colors, but hey, at least I get to try it. Okay, so what's next? Let's go here. 
uh, there's quite a bit in this box and it's all vacuum packed. So uh, in here is, I love this cotton. Haven't tried that either. It's a Hobby Lobby and um, I have, my nearest Hobby Lobby is Oh, like an hour and a half from me. So, uh, the name of this is Hot Orchard. It's 180 yards. Um, I don't see where it says what number size it is. But it looks to be about a a three, I'm guessing. Okay, so there's three of those. Then, oh, and then there's one of these. It's a sugar wheel, and it is Yarn B, which is also a hobby lobby, and it's called. Cherry be merry. Kind of out around because it was vacuum pressed. So it's got a teal, a red, kind of a deeper red, a dark blue, and then a light greenish teal. All the same as that's on the outside here. I'm not sure, but there you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so that will be interesting to try. Okay, then there is a yarn of this Patron's Metallic. Uh, this is a number four. Color is purple. Now, I've tried this before. I don't know if I've had exactly this color. I think so. But I had another one that was blue. Oh. Uh, dark blue and a very dark teal color that I made a scarf for my daughter using. So this I kind of have tried before. It was very slippery. And you have to be really be careful when you're sewing in your ends because it's so slippery that they don't want to stay in. Okay, next up is some Karen Simply Soft. And there's a navy type of blue, a gray, and a black. And this is Oh, it's called Dark Country Blue. It's a number four, of course. Um, 100% acrylic, 288 yards. I don't, oh, I did see the color. And then the gray is charcoal heather. Oh, it looks blue. It's gray. And then black. Which kind of looks blue too. It must be from my shirt. Okay, so that is Karen's Simply Soft, which I have tried. Okay, next is uh, some Red Heart Super Saver, Fair Isle, have not tried, and it is Calm Fair Isle, uh, Calm Trinidad. It's 236 yards, and there are two of these. And this is another super saver. Um, 236 yards. Antique is the name of this one. Oh, the pur the it's really kind of showing purple where it's more of a deep cherry, dark cherry color, and some teal, 
and some white. So it's more of a burgundy color. It's kind of showing up real purpley from what I can see from here. Okay, thank you again, uh, Evelyn. And the last thing here is I got some Vanna's Choice which is Lion Brand, and this is the number four weight. Color is Rust. Hmm. 170 yards. Uh, I've tried Vanna's Choice before, so, and there's three of these, did I say that? Alright, so I want to show you what was in my big box that I received, is Big Happy, Big Box of Happiness. Alright, there you go, that's all I have for you, thank you for joining me, and we'll see you next time on Nan's Next Knots.